Welcome everyone to Graveyard Keeper, a relatively new game, and when I, when I say relatively new, I mean a couple years ago, 2018 or so, is when it came out. Basically this game has a similar, I guess, theme to the play style of the game, meaning games like My Time at Portia, Yonder, The Cloud of Country Chronicles, and Harvest Moon in general, it's that kind of game except it's graveyard theme and has definitely some very unique, interesting things that I will be talking about as we go to the Let's Play, but yeah, let's start. So, it, it's very, I don't even know how to say this, I mean, it, it is a very, like, creepy vibe kind of thing and it makes sense because it's, you know, Graveyard Keeper, but yeah, I guess without... You know, mentioning too much more here, let's just go ahead and get started. So basically, that's the options, that's actually all good. I'm just going to go back. Credits, now there's actually two DLCs with a third one that's relatively new, but it hasn't come out for the Switch yet. I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch, but it started with uh, Steam, on the Steam platform. Uh, so that's why Steam gets the updates and stuff earlier. But anyway, I'm just going to select Play here. And that's my practice file, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, nope, we're just going to do a new game here. And we're going to play. We are going to play. It, it's quite it's quite challenging sometimes because there's definitely a lot to be doing. And that's kind of the thing with some farming games, you know? That some have a lot of stuff to do. Others are a lot more chill and laid back and stuff. So, I don't know. I... Yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it's definitely a game that I would recommend to you if you... If you actually um, are into this kind of theme uh, for video games, uh, it's approximately, and from what I have right here, it's $20, but there's also a um, getting like a collector's edition, which actually has both of the DLCs, and that one is for uh, $30. And I say that because the two DLCs combined are approximately up to $15, which means that you're actually saving money. Now, I bought the regular version, because I wasn't sure how much more I really would be playing in this game. Um, it's only if people actually want me to like showcase the DLC stuff I will later, like maybe post-game or something, or when I'm nearing the end of the game. But I don't know how relevant that's going to be. As you saw, the loading took a long time, but th trust me when I say this, the loading is not actually a problem in this game. Um, it's really just, uh... Oh, it is an order- oh shoot, I didn't read that, damn it. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Aw. Oh my god. How creepy is that? <clears throat> what happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merrily turned the page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Alright, so here we go. We get right into the game itself. So, uh, you can move around, of course. Um, a is to examine stuff. You actually have a chest right here. Uh, your bed is there, you can use that to sleep, but you can't do that right now. Uh, the cooking table is over here to make some, you know, to, to cook a bit. Cool. Another chest over here. Here is the oven. You make some stuff in the oven. Here is a little bit of a trapdoor, a hatch, but it's closed right now, so let's just go ahead and go outside. And let's begin this. Alright, so here's the game. How it looks. Pretty cool, right? Um, we're just going to go ahead and follow the, the quest right now of, you know, what it's asking for us to do. So just hold the Y button. Holy stardom skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? The man with the red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. Oh, star, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask you. Who are you and where the start are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. 
I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm. He could be dangerous. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Cool, I think I can also... Oh, not right now. I was gonna say I can pick up stuff, but not yet. Getting too ahead of myself. Hello. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You, you can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card is in mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. Oh my god. And I only earned five carat today. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Okay. There goes the donkey. If this is not making any sense, that's fine. It'll make sense in a little bit. Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I thought we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. I'm going to puke. <laughs> Alright. Uh, use A to pick up and drop large items. Simple enough. Just simply run up to it. A. We're going to run this way. Enter. I like this place. It feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. And hmm, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the start up and do what I tell you. <laughs> you just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Okay. I got some blueprints. Okay. Preparation place, pallet, flesh. Uh, that makes more sense if you just press the... um. Uh, which button is it? It's just the pause button. Whoops, the minus button. Uh, you can actually see technologies. Technologies are kind of like your skills in this game. It's like your skill tree, sort of. Uh, this will make more sense, but there's different categories of technologies, like different skill trees, basically. So, um, we got this here, this first slice already, automatically. Blueprint preparation blades, blueprint palettes. We got two blueprints. They're basically stuff to build. Uh, and then we got an ability, which is extract. We can extract flesh now. Crafted a preparation place, preparation place too. That'll make more sense later, once again. It's kind of a lot right now, but um, yeah, autopsy. Okay, flesh. Huh. So as you can see, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things we can we can um, extract. But right now it just says flesh. That's it. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and select this one here. And then hold Y to work. You've unlocked a new technology and got burger, sandwich, baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay. Um, so here, now you can see I have flesh. That's disgusting. Okay. Um, wait. I meant... No, I'm trying to take the body by going over here. Alright. Let's go. So it's right along this way. Here's the skull. Let's bury it. Tutorial. Blueprint desk. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave and dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Okay. So this is the blueprint desk. We're basically just going to go here. And we're going to choose what we want to make. Um, we're going to go with the gravesite. I can't do flower bed. But we're going to do gravesite. And we got to choose a spot. I'll just choose like I guess up here. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is... um. Wait, don't I have to... No, never mind. I have to dig. So I have to put you down. Hold Y to dig. There we go. Sounds good. And then this over here. Put the corpse in there and then dig it back over. 
Nicely done. Hmm, this burial certificate, I remember. Money, alcohol. Alcohol, hmm. Asher used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, I know. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be, I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Okay. Let's go talk to you. What's up? Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. Wow. What's up? I'm sorry to have to tell you, but... To tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. <laughs> oh, thanks. There's no end of running it to Clark until you fix it. Notorial locations, okay. So, current location name, it shows you there, okay. Important location information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Repair grades to increase the graveyard overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that, okay. Alright, so here it says, humble marker, we got a new technology. A uh, wooden marker. Well, okay. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. Sounds good. You look like a spiritual leader and I'm a good judge of character. Haha. <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen, to represent his will. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in the trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every day. Every day? No, every something. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Hmm. It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Okay. Um... You need to go home. There's a talking skull. Wow. A fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is... BB? I am. What? Laugh. <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna say this. Just repair all the grades. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Okay, so here's the... that's the same thing again. Um... Can't do that yet. About the certificate. Can you tell me more about the burial certificate? It is your payment for laying our brethren to rest. It's all part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Oh god, this is too complicated to be a dream. <laughs> about the town. The town is the heart of our glorious land, the palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself, hmm, but in those clothes I would be rather funny. How can I get there? It's not far from the village, just head south from the tavern. Where's the village? Just go east from the graveyard gate along the old stone road. No more questions. Alright, I think we're good. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Okay, to craft new items, you'll need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Uh, you can yeah, press that to open the technology tree. Um, red points represent your... Okay, so basically, you get stuff. You have red points, green points, and blue points, and doing different tasks and different work every day will net you these points. You then spend these points to unlock technologies, which is your skills. Um, so it's pretty simple if you think of it like that. You earn points simply by doing anything it says, you know, so you can get uh, points by studying new items at a special table. So we're going to get the concept of, sto concept of stone, uh, stone stockpile as a blueprint, and then gathering. We can now gather rocks. We also got the concept of wood, another technology. We can now gather uh, sticks and small tree fellings. Okay. Sounds good. So we have these, as you can see, and you can go to different categories by pressing ZL or ZR. See all these skill trees? Hopefully it's starting to make sense. Again, it's a it's a little complicated in the beginning, but um, it, it, it can be, it, yeah, I mean, it can be difficult in the beginning to understand this, but over time it'll make a lot more sense. So I'm going to go to this chest because it's told me to go to the chest here, and I'm just going to take all this stuff. We have wood repair kits, we have stone repair kits, we're going to take this rusty axe, this rusty pickaxe, and this rusty hammer. 
And by doing that, if you actually go to character, you can see that we have all this equipped automatically. We have an axe, a pickaxe, a shovel, and a hammer. Perfect. Alright, so... Um, I guess what I should do is, um... Just, uh... Basically, if you hold the button... Now we have a stamina meter at the top left corner. So by doing that, it consumes stamina, but we just got points. See, by doing that, we got one red point and two green points. I'll do it again on this one so you can see. See? One red point, two green points, but my stamina is going down slowly, as you can see. Look at the blue bar now going down. As you can see, it's going very slow. Also, the top right corner shows the quality of the graveyard. It's at minus 26. We have to get it to 5. So if we do this, it'll go to minus 25, right? Pay attention to the top right corner. See? It went down. Uh, there's more over here. We can just keep, you know, getting all these. And this is basically just how you increase the, the quality by getting rid of all this crap. You know, we're also getting points while we're doing that. So that's a very good thing to be doing. Yeah, see? Not bad, not bad, right? Alright. Um, so I think the next thing I will do, because I don't think there's anything on the left side. Let me see. I mean, there are things, like, I think this one gives me more. Like, watch this. Oh yeah, that one gave me five green ones. That is ridiculous. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's see. So if I go to, like, any one of these graves, like, let's say this one here. Um, this is where it becomes a little bit confusing, and even I have a hard time understanding some aspects of this. Basically, it says, um, so the wooden cross right now is worth, um, zero. The stone gray fence is worth zero. If we select to examine the body, you need to remove the grave's fence and gravestone. Well, okay. Um, if I select this, for example, and I fix it, it says it'll consume two. But plus zero, the current condition is zero, and it also consumes five stamina. If I go to this one, this consumes just one. So like for example, if I do this, and then put fix gravestone, and I work, the quality just went up by two. So now it's only worth minus one. However, if I do this again, and this time I do, you can't fix it, but if I go to stone gray fence, and I spend one stamina here, or not one stamina, but well, um, one, you know what I mean. There we go. And now it's at one. So now they're both, um, as you can see, valued on there. So pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, just making sure it's all good. Current condition 100% for each. Not bad, not bad. You can keep doing that, um, and always just be checking, like, how much do I have here? Stone repair kit, that, and then, so I use two wood and then one stone. I could keep doing it, um, like, I could go to, let's say, this one, for example. Wooden marker, that consumes, like, that's not bad, right? Now, this sadly doesn't actually improve your, um, uh, oh wait, that one's already, what the heck? That one's not bad. It already had a little bit of value, but let's fix it up. There we go. So now it's at zero. So I'm getting... It is going up, as you can see. Now it's at 15. This thing is at minus three, I just realized. Holy shit. And then this one over here. Just fix that one up. There we go. And I can go to this here. I don't have enough, as you can see. Which is technically fine for now, you know? You're not going to be able to do everything right now. I can do that one as well. I'm already running out of stamina, which is quite unfortunate, but... Oh well. And then this one... There we go. I got it down to minus 8, so we still need, what, 13 more? That's, that's a lot of work. We're going to have to make more of those stuff here, and you can... Um, oh, we can only build Grayside and Flower Bed here. Got it. Okay. That's the clock. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here and actually go over to where, where we need to go, but, um... I think before I do... Before I do any of that, um... What I'm gonna do, actually, is go up here. So this is where actually where I started, as you can kind of see here. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to bed. One other thing you can do... 
simple. You can basically chop almost anything. Like if I do this, I just got nice. Got another green point there, you know. I can like go to this one for example. Oh, not enough stamina. Shit. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's definitely a lot, but I'm gonna go to bed right now because I just feel like I, I should do that. I'm gonna go over here. Let's sleep. You can wake up whenever you want, but I highly recommend that typically you want to just uh, make a uh, time pass and just, you know, rest up the most that you can, fill it up all the way. And that's it. Oh my god, I'm so refreshed. This is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new gravekeeper. Graveyard keeper, my bad. Hooray, a keeper. Wow, I've been here for, hmm, a long I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That's like something you can help us with? Okay. Ah, the half-dead skull, that jealous bastard. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Can you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. Oh my god. Exhumation permission? Oh Jesus. He did a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Okay. So I mean... Oh shit, I can always forget I have to press A to exit. You know? Um, Alright, so... Basically... What the heck? I definitely haven't been over here yet. But, okay, just kind of showing off all this, you know. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. God damn it, I can't. Wait, can I actually chop. get rid of that? No, I can't. I thought I could, but no. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Alright, so this one over here, this grave, what we're gonna do is, um, because as you can see, it doesn't actually, so I didn't mention this, but like here, you can't exhume this because it's still, you have to remove the grave's fence and gravestone, um, and this one doesn't have anything, so you can just come over here and, you know, remove it by selecting this over here, okay, um, you want to use it? Yes, you always need one of those things for permission, and then, wait, there we go, okay. Sweet. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna throw it in the river, but before I do that, one thing you can always do with pretty much any body um, is extract some stuff before you actually end up, you know, tossing it. So, I'm gonna go to the autopsy table yet again, because this is actually where you do this. Let's go ahead and do autopsy here. We can extract the flesh, yes. And there we go. When oh, I got one point, okay. And now you can't do it anymore because it only works for you can only do one, you know, one time per body. Because I basically just extracted the flesh. Now I'm gonna take the body and I'm gonna go ahead and dump it into the um, the river. I'm gonna go west this way. One thing I haven't shown you is that you can actually go to um, known NPCs and you will see if there's actually any quests um, currently that you like from that person um but yeah but uh, but see yours is actually not appearing there which is interesting like jerry's is appearing graveyard keeper makes sense um and then reach for the graveyard so bishop's quest is right there but york's quest is actually not there i don't know why hmm. so it's not perfect it doesn't show literally everything you know hmm all right so over here repair no i'm gonna go ahead and dump this body here into this river. Wait, how do I do that? The fuck? Where do I... Oh, there it is. Done. That's it. What do you think you're doing here? The ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, now you're just gonna... <laughs> now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. 
Of course, I'll never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Um, do you know where that river leads? Alright, well, how can I burn a body? Thanks. <laughs> you need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? You need a nice, quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mort mortuary entrance near the cliff. Okay. The river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. Tutorial on NPCs. Each important character who the graveyard keeper meets will appear on the character's screen. The character's mood from 0 to 100 is shown below. The character and the tasks related to a character are listed to the right of the character. Some services require a certain level of happiness. As you can see, they're all zeros right now, so whatever, right? Okay. And now it's nighttime yet again. Okay, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, right? Well, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run on over to the right. I suppose so. Hmm. Actually, should I? Ah, it's fine, it's fine. I got a little bit of time, I suppose. We're going to just run all the way to the right. All the way. We're going to ignore everything else that we see right now, okay? Just ignore all this shit, because there's so much going on right now. Because I'm trying to make it to the village. Go, go, go. It's really far from here. One thing you can do is you can look at a map, as you can see. Look at that. Actually, one thing I should do... I just realized... Is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, explore both up and down. Oh, damn it, it's freaking nighttime, so it's... God damn it. God damn it, man. I'm pretty sure the tavern might actually be closed still then. Shit. Well, anyway, we're over here at the village now. We made it. But what I'm going to do is enter here. No, it still it still works. It still works. Okay, hello. You must be a new graveyard keeper. Okay. Got it. Mrs. Chain. Alright, so I need to talk to your husband. Sounds good. Okay, let's go over here. This guy. What's up? Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horadric. Alright, so let's see here. I'm not going to be reading everything word by word here, but... Well, maybe. I'll read some parts here and there. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. Okay. How about this burial certificate? Right? Okay. Good trade of money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? Short on money. Okay. How do I get back home? Let's see here what you got for me. You're at the dead horse. That's all you say, really? What do you mean? The time it takes for the earth to make one revolution around the sun. Well, Wow. Yep. The kingdom, and it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Okay. How can I get a town pass? It's rather complicated. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you can just purchase citizenship. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff, and that you don't necessarily need to be knowing all this in the beginning of the game, like it's pretty ridiculous. Um. Okay. Find a stamp and sell me to Horadric. Yeah, so I don't have a stamp. Actually, no. Okay. Sounds good. And I think that's actually it. Snake. Get out Miss Charm. I have a stamp, but I'm gonna say leaf. Alright, sounds good. The southeastern corner- okay, so I got another- another quest here, another task. They said to ask Mrs. Charm. Try to talk to you. Okay, nothing. 
That's it. By the way, yeah, she was still walking when I talked to her because that happens in this game. It's actually a pretty common thing. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, well, because I'm almost out of time and I actually have to end this video right now, but I still got stuff to do. I mean, I guess I could just, ah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just go. I think... Wait, it's this house? Shit. Oh my god, get rid of this. It's in the way. Oh my god, the weather's getting crazy right now. <laughs> no, it's not there. So one of these houses is actually a blacksmith place. What about over here? Is this the one? Well, the thing is, I think it actually has to be daytime. That's, that's the problem, you know? So I have to wait until... It actually turns to daytime. Okay, now I can see stuff. Thankfully. Who are you? Can I... Can I Oh, that's... no, that's not very talking to you. You know, the, the tavern is right there, but... Okay, let me actually keep trying to go further... Oh, is it you? There we go. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you the letter. Letter from Horadric? Okay. Little habits never die. Hmm. Sounds good. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. But you can repair with the whetstone and the grinder right behind me. Okay. Sounds good. Different actions in the game spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press X to attack and always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Sleeping will also restore your health and energy. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I can... Eh. Sure, I'll ask you. In the swamp soil, there's a huge swamp in the west across the river. Got it. Iron. Alright. I'm gonna leave. And we're just gonna make this here by crafting. Pick a resource to use. What the heck? Broken sword, and then you're basically gonna get a, a whetstone as well. So I think all I have to do is do that. <clears throat> and then work. And it makes a rusty sword. Sweet. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.